Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution for the lead code problem merge two sorted lists. So basically we are given two sorted linked lists and we have to merge them and return the new sorted list. So we will be doing it using the merging that we do while merging two sorted arrays. So let's first create the head node of our new array list node head which will do new list node zero now i'm creating a head having the value zero so this is now basically a dummy towards the end i'll be returning head dot next so this will be used for handling a lot of corner cases as you'll see so while l1 not equal to null and l2 not equal to null so we'll be traversing through both l1 and l2 using this while loop now and also we need a pointer say curve which we'll be using to add the values in head so right now curve will be pointing towards head so if l1 dot well is less than l2 dot well then curve dot next is equal to l1 so the next member of head of our linked list will be l1 and then l1 is equal to l1 dot next else if l2 dot while is smaller then curve dot next is equal to l2 l2 is equal to l2 dot next and curve is equal to curve dot next so we keep our head moving and we keep on taking the values from L1 and L2 and whichever is smaller, we keep on adding it after head. Now, if L1 is not equal to null, then the same thing, curve dot next is equal to L1. L1 is equal to L1 dot next. If L2 not equal to null, curve dot next is equal to L2. L2 is equal to L2 dot next. Now, if our head is not equal to null, then what we do? We say head is equal to head dot next, then we return head. So let's try to see if it works. So now, if we try to submit it. We get a zero MS runtime, which says that, which means that it is faster than 100% of Java onion summation for the same problem. So, in a nutshell, again, what we did was we created a head for our new linked list, which will be the merged linked list. And then we made a pointer curve, which pointed towards head. Then we traversed through L1 and L2. And whichever value was smaller, we kept, we kept on taking it and adding it into head using curve. And later on, if any element was left from L1 or L2, we took that also and added towards head. And if head is not equal to null, we say head is equal to head dot next because the actual value of head is just a dummy value, which is zero. So with this, you can see that there's a very efficient and simple solution for the problem.